Welcome back to Inside Homes. Today we've got a really beautiful home for you at the Topiary. It's an EC in Sengkang and in fact, it's one of the most popular ECs in Sengkang right now. We're going to show you a 915 square feet, 3 bed, 2 bath unit that's super efficient on a high floor and you're going to love it. Best part, it's at a great price. Let's go take a look at your unit now. Hi, welcome to the unit. Come on in. Alright, so before we look at the unit, let me tell you a little bit more about Topiary. So Topiary is a 700 unit EC that completed in 2016 and just recently got its MOP. So if you're looking for a condo, this is about as new as it gets. So Topiary consists of two, three and four bedrooms, but three bedrooms make up about half of the condo size. And these three bedrooms are broadly broken down into two types, those with yard and those without yard. The one that we're showing you today is a 915 square feet unit without yard. Now this unit is super interesting and really efficient because it's kind of like a dumbbell layout that you typically only see in two bedrooms. Three bedroom layouts tend to have a long corridor that separates the living room from the bedrooms and all the bedrooms being on one side. But this layout is really interesting because your master bedroom is here on the right and it's separated by the living room and then the two bedrooms are on the other side. So this means that you have a lot less corridor space and it makes the space a lot more efficient and it also kind of gives you a little bit of separation from your master bedroom as well as maybe the kids rooms or your home office so this kind of gives you that nice uh, work and sleep separation as we move into the living room you'll see that this space is really nice and evenly shaped so this makes it really easy to fit your furniture you've got a great wall-to-wall -wall distance between where your sofa and tv console is as well um, this unit already has a fan and two acs installed and the owners just recently repainted this wall giving this room a really nice pop of color You'll also see that the unit has been lovingly maintained by the current owners and it hardly shows anywhere it's there at all. So this home is perfect for you to move in easily. Now, as we head out to the balcony, let's go take a look at one of my favourite features of the house. One of the great things about this unit is definitely the balcony. A common criticism that buyers might sometimes have about condos is that balconies can be viewed as wasted space and sometimes maybe balconies are very long and narrow but you'll see that in this case, this balcony is a really nice even square shape which makes this space super functional. You could easily put a dining set out here for some alfresco dining or you could have zip track installed like how some of the other owners have done and that will turn the living room into an extension of the living room. You could even have this space enclosed with zip track and turn this into a small home office from a work from home kind of situation. Being on the balcony also really helps to demonstrate that being on a high floor like this gives us a really nice view of the neighbourhood. The whole unit is really bright and breezy all year round and we have a direct north facing so we don't get any afternoon sun coming to the unit. You'll also see that Sulita Mall is right there in the distance and it's about a 5 minute walk away. As well as if you look across the street from us where the HGV block is, that block has an NTUC and a bunch of coffee shops on the ground floor. And if you walk out from the back entrance of Topiary, you'll see Greenwich Mall across the street, which has a whole bunch of other amenities and restaurants as well. Topiary is also really well served because if you drive, you can get onto the CTE and TPE within 3 or 4 minutes. So all of this means that Topiary is really well served in terms of accessibility and amenities, making it a really great place to live. Let's head back in and I'll show you the kitchen next. As we head into the kitchen, let me point out a couple more things in the living room that we may have missed earlier. So this space over here is our designated dining area. It comfortably fits a five-seater dining set. And it's really cute because it's tucked into this corner. You've got these really nice pastel lights that the owners have installed, which will stay with the unit. On my left, you'll see a DB box here, which doubles up also as additional storage. One of the things that you'll notice about this home is that although we do have several large pieces of furniture, the house itself doesn't feel cramped. So this really goes to show that the 915 square feet is really efficiently used and yet the home does feel full but yet not cramped. As we head to the kitchen, you'll see that the kitchen also emphasizes this idea of what we call a Goldilocks home where everything is not too big, not too small, just the right size for your needs. Let's go take a look. As we head into the kitchen, you'll see that the kitchen is really generously sized and also really well designed. You've got a very large area here for a fridge as well as a three burner gas stove oven, hood, as well as plenty of built-in storage. The great thing to notice here is that even though with all of these appliances, you still have plenty of countertop space for kitchen tasks on both sides of the hob as well as on this side. And you'll also notice that for a kitchen of this size, you can comfortably have two people in the kitchen at the same time and they won't like get in each other's way. So the corridor space in here is just right. The kitchen is also the place where we have our washing machine and dryer right now and it also has a window which allows light to come in and also helps to keep the place nice and breezy. Earlier I mentioned that the difference in this unit is the placement of the aircon latch. So in this unit the aircon latch is right outside the kitchen so that's really efficient because right now this serves as a storage space where the owners keep like their mops and laundry racks and maybe vacuum cleaners and stuff like that. 
So the kitchen you can see is really good size and really functional as well. Next, we're gonna take a look at the bedrooms. All right, so just to bring you back into the living room, remember that we mentioned this is a dumbbell layout. So our common rooms are on the left and our master bedrooms on the right. And we're gonna look at the master bedroom first. As we head into the master bedroom, the first thing you'll notice is how wonderfully bright it is. And that's because one entire wall is just floor to ceiling windows. So being on a high floor, this lets in tons of natural light and it keeps the whole place feeling very bright and visually very open the entire year round. So the room currently very comfortably fits a queen size bed. But you can see that you still have space on either side for end tables. And in fact, on this side, the owners have installed a rather large dressing table. The room itself also has a very generously sized wardrobe that you typically don't see in most 3-bedroom uh, ECs or condos nowadays. You'll also notice that the wall-to-wall -wall distance in this room is pretty generous. So if you had a wall-mounted TV, you could even have an entertainment system in your master bedroom. The master bedroom also has its own attached bathroom as well as uh, AC and this lovely light picture already installed. Uh, let's go take a look at the common bedroom next. Another interesting thing about this house is that ECs from this generation don't have home shelters anymore. So that's actually a really cool feature because home shelters by design cannot be taken down so you have to renovate around them. With this house not having one of them means that you have a lot more customization options in terms of what you want to do with the house. So for example, for all the bedrooms, all the walls in between the bedrooms can all be taken down. So you could take down this wall and combine this bedroom into your living room. You could combine these two rooms into one room. You could do a lot of things with this house that you normally wouldn't be able to do in a BTO that has a home shelter. As we head into this common room, you can see that this room could theoretically fit a queen size bed. But if you'll be honest, it might be a little bit tight. So this room might be more ideal for a kid's room, maybe with a single bed and a study desk. Or it could be a home office, which is what is currently being used as right now. The room itself has wardrobes and AC already installed. And another nice feature is that all the bedrooms and the living room have that same open facing with the floor to ceiling windows. So they're all equally bright and breezy throughout the whole year. Like I mentioned earlier also, both of these walls on either side of the room could be taken down if you want to either take this room into your living room or if you want to combine the two bedrooms into a much larger bedroom. Let's go take a look at the last common bedroom. So the last common room is very similar to the previous one. The only difference is that this one is marginally bigger. So if you needed to fit a second queen size bed in your house, this room would probably be the more ideal one. You'll also notice that it has the same wardrobes and AC already installed and that same lovely view that we mentioned. So given that the space is really efficient and really well laid out, the whole house itself gives you tons of options for what you want to do with the space. Next, let's round out the tour with our closing thoughts and I'll share with you why we feel like this home is a great buy for you. So here are some of our closing thoughts on why we think this home is a great buy. Topiary as a whole is a really attractive and really popular condo um, designed around the theme of gardens and all of that really comes across in the landscaping and facilities and you get tons of great facilities here. You've got a huge pool, a great clubhouse and a lovely gym. Also, the location of Topiary is really good because we're right next to Greenwich Mall and Seletar Mall as well as being well served by the HDB amenities like NTUCs and coffee shops and stuff like that. If you remember earlier, I mentioned that the three bedrooms in Topiary largely come in two types, those with a yard and those without. If you're looking at the three bedrooms with yard, they typically are transacting about 1.1 million. Whereas ours, because we don't have a yard and we're smaller, we're able to keep the price lower. So for us, at our current asking of 980000 for a three-bedroom unit that's of this age and this condition on a high floor, being able to find it under $1 million is really quite a steal. So if you feel like this home is something that you might be interested in, you can contact any one of our realtors and we'll be more than happy to set up an appointment for you. If you like our content and you'd like to see more of our stuff, you can follow us on any of our socials. For Inside Homes, my name is Tim and I've had a great time sharing my insights with you. Thanks and see you in the next video.